So now that we've got our engine out, we're gonna go ahead and start cleaning this up, pulling some pieces off and customizing and restoring them. We're gonna hit those with the Duplicolor Metal Cast. And for that, we're gonna start off with the silver ground coat to clean them up a little bit and give them a nice brilliant finish and then come back with the metal cast blue to match that color scheme on the outside. So we've got our engine torn apart. We want to go ahead and customize some of these pieces. For these here, we're going to use the Dupacolor metal cast. That's a two-part system. We're going to lay down the ground coat first and then come back with this blue to give it that nice anodized look. Now each of these is going to have a little bit different prep. Here we've got some surface rust. We're going to hit this with a wire brush and then our prep spray and get it nice and clean and ready to go. These guys here, we're just going to hit with prep spray. They're pretty clean, so we can just go ahead and prep spray those, clean them up again, and get them ready to paint. And this is our distributor cap. It's plastic, so we're just going to hit this with some adhesion promoter as opposed to scuffing it. So let's go ahead and get started. For this piece, we're going to tape off a couple areas that we don't want to get painted, and we're going to go ahead and get started. Anytime you have a surface like this that you don't want to scuff up, it's best to use Duplicolor's adhesion promoter. That's going to make sure the paint is going to adhere just as well to the surface. When applying Duplicolor's adhesion promoter, you just want to make sure to get one nice light coat that covers the entire surface of what you're painting. So we've finished cleaning up these pieces that we're going to hit with the Duplicolor metal cast, and Mark is taping off the areas that we don't want to paint. I'm going to go ahead and get started using the metal cast base coat. And that's going to give us a nice brilliant silver finish that's going to shine through our blue coating. When applying the base coat, you want to put down two light coats followed by a medium wet coat with about 10 minutes in between each coat. So we've let our ground coat dry for about 30 minutes. We're gonna come back with this blue top coat. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with a real light first coat to get an idea of the look we're gonna get and then come back with a medium wet coat over top of that to give it a nice smooth finish. When applying your metal cast top coat, you wanna make sure to put down very even light coats. Now remember, this is a transparent coating, so you still wanna see that silver coming through from underneath. So you don't wanna to go too heavy on it, so just light coats until you get the look you're going for. So we've got our two coats on here, went a little bit heavier on that second coat. And these are gonna be dry to the touch in about an hour, but you wanna give them three hours before reinstalling them into the engine. These things are looking real good, and they're gonna go great with our blue engine. So you've seen how easy it is to use Duplicolor's metal cast to restyle your accessories. For more information on metal cast and any of our other products, be sure to check out our website and stay tuned to future episodes while we continue to work on this 69 International Scout. And remember, yes you can in your garage with Duplicolor. <laughs>